Hi guys, Dane here, and today I am going to be taking the last 10 books tag. Now this is an original tag by Mark Nash, who is one of my booktube friends. He actually tagged me in the original video, so let's here is some footage. So there are 10 questions to this tag, I have a selection of books, and then at the end I'm going to tag three people to take this next, so let's, let's do this. Question 1, the last book you didn't finish, and I believe that is Illumine by J. Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. I think I got their surnames the right way around. And um, I mean, I've talked about this before. I, I, everyone says it's great and whatnot, and I'm sure it's lovely. But I read about the first 20, 30 pages, and just the dialogue was terrible. <laughs> and, and like the, the actual the characters in it as well, they just, it, it wasn't very believable for me. So, and that's before we get to the murderous AI, which in theory I should like, but equally. I find AI fascinating and read quite a lot about it, so I think I'd probably find problems with the portrayal of AI. So, yeah, I'm not gonna not gonna finish that series. Question number two: the last book you reread. So for me, this will be Chronicles, Volume One by Bob Dylan. I say will be. I'm currently we're on disc three of about nine of the audiobook, so I'm listening to this with my girlfriend as well, actually, for Catalyst Reads Rereadathon. I don't often reread books. But um, that's why I'm doing it via audio, basically, and I'm doing a book a month for that. And this is the March book, which I will have finished by the time you've seen this tag. So, yay. Question number three, the last book you bought. Now, if you've seen my hauls, you probably know I buy a lot of books. This is the last book that has arrived recently. I mean, that's all I got. That's the best I got for you. And this is A War All The Time, Poems 1981 to 1984 by Charles Bukowski. Bukowski is one of my favorite. What are you doing, cat? So Bukowski is mostly known as a poet and as, I guess, like a almost like a chronicler. He writes about his own life, but in a sort of semi-fictional way, which is very interesting. I've been working my way through all of his books, and this is one of the few that I haven't read yet. And it happens to be the most recent one I have at the time of filming this tag. Question number four, the last book you said you read but didn't. So this is Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. And even that is stretching it. I don't think I ever lied and said that I had read it. But um, I was supposed to read it and I didn't read it in time. But this was for London in Literature at uni. And it was literally, we had a book a week for the semester. And uh, I really did not enjoy Mrs. Dalloway. I ended up, this is the only book I've ever listened to the audio book of rather than reading the physical book because I just found it so dull and you know it just it just sapped all of my energy and uh, so I didn't enjoy it but I am I'm also going to reread this one later this year for the rereadathon as well so yeah I think it was because the challenge was like reread a book you didn't enjoy or something and every time I think of that I think of Mrs Dalloway question number five the last book you wrote in the margins of little bit of self promotion here but that would be no rest for the wicked by Dane Cobain and there's a very specific reason for this. I don't really write in the margins of books. You might have noticed from my reviews I've been using sticky tabs to mark places and whatnot, but I don't really write in the margins. However, one year at Glastonbury, I took a copy of my book with me so that I could get some photos of it in and around all the various, you know, cool places that are around Glastonbury. And then while I was there, on like, on like the first day, I lost my notebook. So I ended up just writing in all like like bits like this at the end of a chapter. I'd be like, right, I can squeeze a poem in there. So I ended up writing all over that book. And it's quite the artifact. I still have it, just not here. It's in my mum's house in the loft, I think. Question number six, the last book you had signed. So this actually was sent to me, and I don't know if I asked for it to be signed or not, but I'm glad that it is. And it's Hotel Life by Katie Lewington. And it's basically a poetry chat book. And I've read some of Katie's stuff before. It's... You know, I really enjoy it. I actually, I'd marked this as, uh, you know, want to read on Goodreads. And she noticed, and so she dropped me a message and asked uh, if she could send me a copy. And then she did. And uh, it's, it's signed on the inside. Very nice. Question number seven. The last book you lost. I don't lose books. Or at least, not that I know of. Uh, yeah. I mean... <laughs> I don't know, I catalogue all of my books on Goodreads and whatnot, and then I keep all of my books. I don't, I take them outside the house myself, but I wouldn't lend them or anything like that, so, yeah, I don't lose books. 
Question number eight, the last book you had to replace. So I do have an answer for this and I've got Going Postal by Terry Pratchett. And this is one of the ones that I realized I used to own and now don't. But that's not because I lost it or anything like that. There was actually just a period when I went to uni where I had so many books and no space and stuff that I got rid of a bunch of books. And um, I guess this must have been one of them. I mostly sold them all, to, you know, for beer money. And then later regretted that decision, so I've been buying them back as and when I remember what I'm missing. Question number nine, the last book you had an argument over. So I'm going for Mouse by Art Spiegelman, because me and my friend Neil were talking about this in the pub, and I think he gave it like a two, two out of five on Goodreads in the end, but that's because he's wrong. <laughs> well, it's because he, he didn't, he was, he, comp he like didn't get the point of the symbolism in it, but... That, isn't that the point of symbolism is that it's symbolic like <laughs> but anyway anyway great book though I gave it a five out of five on unlike some heathens so that's fine and question number 10 the last book you couldn't get hold of I've gone for Isaac Asimov earth is room enough and that's because right so I started reading this book for the time hopathon and discovered it has really really tiny print I'm gonna focus in on how small that print is the print is absolutely tiny and so because of that, because the print is so tiny, I can't read it really. I mean, I can now as I have my lights pointing at me and turned on. But just in the evenings or whatever, you cannot read this book. The print's too small. So I went online to try and get a copy of it with larger print. And I got this copy that the seller said was hardcover and it arrived. And it was literally paperback, exactly the same as this, but with a slightly different cover. Same print and everything. So, I mean... I, I can't get hold of this book with larger print. Okay, and those are all the questions for this tag, so I'm now going to tag three people, and I'm going to tag Sophisticated Books, I'm going to tag Madeline Swan, and I'm going to tag Night Fear, and you guys should check out all three of their channels as well if you don't already, because they are all three of them fine booktubers. But equally, if you want to take this tag yourself, go ahead and do it. Please do give Mark the credit though, because, you know, he's a nice guy. You should check out his channel as well. And, uh, yeah, let's do that. So in the meantime, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you'd like to see more bookish videos. Hit a like if you've enjoyed this tag, and I will see you soon for another one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.